story. Okay, are you guys sitting down? Shall we go find Miss Nikki and see if she'll read us a book? Come on, let's go. Hi friends, I live in the city, but one of my favorite things to do when I come to the country is to visit the farm. That's why today we're reading a book all about the farm. It's called How Rudy the Rooster Got His Voice. And this story is by Gina Bittner with illustrations from Kelly Kingsley. How Rudy the Rooster Got His Voice. I like this one because it's dedicated to all creatures everywhere who were faced with a challenge yet persevered. And I like this book because we get to do a lot of rooster sounds. But sometimes when we make these rooster sounds, they're going to sound a little bit silly. Do you think you can make silly rooster sounds with me? Let's find out. We're going to start by going, what a doodle do Can you say it? What a doodle do one more time, what a doodle do? It says, hello, my name is Rudy the Rooster and I love sharing my voice. When I was a young rooster, I had trouble figuring out how I should sound. At first, it came out like this. Gluck. That doesn't sound very much like a rooster. No matter how much I practice, at 6 a.m., gluck. At 6 p.m., can you say it with me? Gluck. At 2 a.m., gluck. It always came out all wrong. I was kept in a pen with another rooster and two hens. Surely that meant I was a chicken too, didn't it? But why did my pal Rody the rooster sound normal? Do you remember? But doodle do. What was wrong with me? Am I broken? Just shy? Am I even a rooster? Do you remember how Rudy sounded? He went gluck, gluck, gluck. But I still made a sound like this. We get to do lots of this. Are you ready? Gluck, gluck, gluck. At 6 a.m. What did Rudy, Rudy say? Gluck. At 6 p.m. he went gluck. And at 2 a.m. he still went gluck. It always came out all wrong. Well, he kept right on practicing morning, noon, and night. But still, it always came out all wrong. Maybe the other farm animals could help me. So off I went to find my friends. And as he went, he still went Gluck, gluck, gluck. Hello there, Mrs. Cow. Can you help me? I asked my black and white friend. Gluck. What's your lemma, Rudy? Asked Mrs. Cow. Gluck. Oh, I have been trying to sound like my friend Rody the rooster, I told her. He's a rooster, like me. But every time I try, it always comes out all wrong. Is that sure a problem, said Mrs. Cow, but you better move along to someone who can help. Oink! What's going on, Rudy? asked Squealers the pig. Have you got mud in your feathers again? Not today, Squealers, I said, but I do have a problem that I hope you can help me with. Listen to this. Gluck! Do you notice how wrong that is, I asked? I don't sound like a rooster at all. And no matter how much I practice, it always comes out all wrong. Gluck! You surely are in a mucky situation, said Squealers. But it's time for my mud bath, so I can't help you. Man, Rudy's having a hard time finding some help. Let's see if these can help. 
Pardon me, Mr. Ruffy and Miss Kitty, I said, but do you think you could listen to something for me? I've been to see Mrs. Cow and Squealers, but they couldn't help me. Maybe you can. This one's a little different. Rudy says, Gluck-a-oo. Wait, did you hear that? I exclaimed. Let me try that again. Gluck-a-oo. Thank you, friends, I said. You've been so much help. It says, perfect, said Miss Kitty, but I'm not sure what we did. Woof, agreed Mr. Ruffy. Do you think Rudy is starting to sound like a rooster? I don't know, he's been doing a lot of practice. I used my voice, I used it and used it and used it. Finally, I started to sound more like the rooster I knew I was. As I grew older, I became better at using my voice. This time Rudy goes, Gluck a goo goo Gluck a goo goo Can you guys say that one? You ready? One, two, three. Gluck a goo goo that one's pretty silly. <laughs> the hens started laying eggs right there in our chicken coop. I'm definitely a rooster. And I'm right where I belong. I still use my voice all the time. But you know what? My voice started to change on me all over again. Now he says, Gluck? Gluck a oo? Gluck a google goo? No, wait, that's not right either. Well, I kept on using my voice all day and all night. I was so proud of my voice, but I knew I needed to keep on practicing. So I did. Now my voice sounds more like this. Walk a doodle do. Book a doodle do. Can you guys sound like a rooster? And go book a doodle do. Let me hear. Good job. And guess what? I love my new grown-up voice so much that I still practice every day. At 6 a.m. Okay, together now. Buck a doodle do. At 6 p.m. Buck a doodle do. And even at 2 a.m. Can you guys buck a doodle do one more time? One, two, three. Buck a doodle do. And Rudy says, remember. No matter who you are or what your challenges are, don't give up. Take it from me. Just keep practicing. And you know what? If it doesn't come out quite right the first time, that's okay. Because it's just who you are. And you are special just by being Bark a doodle you. Man, I think if I had a rooster like Rudy, I would get some earplugs for my ears. That was a whole lot of baka doodle doos and gluck a google goos and just some regular old plain glucks. But do you know what? One of my favorite things to do on the farm is to feed the chickens. So next you can see a few pictures from my adventure feeding the chickens on my uncle's farm. We went to the farm with Miss Mary. We got to help feed the chickens. They were very hungry. The chickens even ate pumpkin. Oh no! One of the chickens got away. Do you see it? There are lots of animals that live on the farm. And there are always lots of things to do. The baby calf is very hungry. And this goat is very friendly. And so are these pigs. I wish my family owned a horse. Wow, visiting the farm is a lot of fun.
Hi friends, on Poetry Corner today we're going to do something just a little bit different. We are going to sing one of my favorite farm songs, and I'm sure you probably already know it, so I really, really, really hope that you will sing along with me. We are going to sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm, and I even have a few animals that we can make the noises of. Are you ready? Okay, who do you think we should start with? Hmm, I think maybe we should start with a duck. What do you think? Here we go. Are you ready? Do you remember how it starts? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O, with a quack quack here and a quack quack there, here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack. Quack, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, so we did our duck. What should we do next? Oh, what's this one? Can you shout it out? What kind of animal is this? You're right, it's a horse. And what does a horse say? Let me hear it. The horses go, nay. Are you ready? Okay, you've got to sing with me. Sing nice and loud so I'm not the only one singing, okay? Here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O, with a nay-nay here and a nay-nay there, here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay-nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Here we go again. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a dog. E-I-E-I-O. With a ruff, ruff here and a ruff, ruff there. Here ruff, there ruff, everywhere ruff, ruff. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And I think there's one more friend. What's this one? You can't have a farm and not do the cow. What does a cow say? Moo, good job. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Well, thank you so much, friends, for joining me to talk all about farming and all the fun things that we do. I think we should do one more bock doodle do for Rudy. What do you think? Ready? One, two, three.